From the classroom and into the studio and back to the classroom, this is ESL Today, broadcasting from Anne Arundel Community College in Arnold, Maryland. And now, from his studio in the basement of the Science Building, here's Kirk Palchewski. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of ESL Today. I'm Kirk Palchewski, and this is episode 94. On today's program, we will cover the topic of alternative energy, that and much more on this edition of ESL Today. I'll be back in a moment. Thanks, guys. Good job. Thank you very much, and thank you for sticking with me. As I said during the introduction, today we are going to cover the topic of alternative energy, but before we get into that, let's get a check on the weather. And now the local weather from Arnold, Maryland, stepping outside onto the campus of Anne Arundel Community College, where today the temperature will reach 85 degrees under partly cloudy skies with a chance of rain at 0% northwest winds at 9 miles per hour. And then tomorrow, Thursday, 86 degrees and sunny. Chance of rain is 10%. East northeasterly winds at 6 miles per hour. On Friday, p.m. thunderstorms expected and 87 degrees will be the high. 50% chance of rain. South southeast winds at 9 miles per hour. Now let's go to doctor discretion and our health segment. Hello, Dr. Discretion with you. Did you know that having blue eyes is actually a mutation? Before the mutation occurred, all humans had brown eyes. This is Dr. Mutant, uh, Dr. Discretion, that is saying, live healthy, live happy, and uh, live long. All right, thank you very much, Doctor. And now, as promised, today we are going to cover the topic of alternative energy. So without any further delay, let's go to the classroom. Alternative energy. What is alternative energy? Alternative energy is energy that does not deplete natural resources and does not harm the environment. Here are some examples of alternative energy sources. Solar, wind, water. And here are some examples of the equipment and structures that utilize these natural resources. Solar panels. Wind turbines. Hydropower plant. Here's the dam exterior. And here is the interior of the hydropower plant. Okay, we have seen examples of alternative energy sources that can be used to generate electricity. Now let's look at some alternatives to the fuel we use for our vehicles. What are some alternatives to a gas-powered vehicle? Hybrid, electric, and gas. All electric. All horsepower. <laughs> and that's our show for today. For all of us here at ESL Today, this is Kirk Palchewski saying thank you for joining me, and I look forward to seeing all of you again next time, right here, for the next edition of ESL Today. Bye-bye!